A 14-year-old boy and two young men are behind bars tonight, charged with ransacking the only store in a village near Albuquerque. The crooks stole so much merchandise, they nearly put the store out of business. News 13's Dave Bowman has that story. At the center of the mountain village of Tejique, <laughs> good cheer fills Ray's one stop. All of us stop at this little store. For Mountaineer, Estancia, everywhere. You know, sometimes for gas, you know, sometimes just to come in and visit. And a badly damaged cash register once again rings up sales. <laughs> this one can uh, close. Manager Veronica Marquez thought she might have to close the shop. On Sunday, thieves broke in, pried 200 bucks from the register, and stole $10,000 worth of booze, energy drinks, and cigarettes. I still haven't had a chance to replace all the cigarettes or all the wine, because <laughs> I don't have the money. After breaking into the store, robbers noticed surveillance cameras, so they quickly turned them to the walls. It seemed like the work of professionals. But deputies say one was just 14 years old. He's in custody along with 18-year-old Logan Chavez and 21-year-old Caleb Moorhead. Deputies cracked this case in two days. Some very good investigation skills led them to, to these people and, and recovery of these items. Veronica Marquez can't wait to get the stolen goods back, but she's disturbed. She says she let the parents of the accused thieves buy groceries and snacks on credit. You understand that sometimes they don't have enough money and you try to help them. But it's sad when you find out that their, you know, their kids are the ones that are doing all this stuff. It can make people a little more, um, where they don't trust each other quite as much as they do in these little small communities like this. You want me to open your soda, Dominic? Veronica Marquez is smiling again. Business will continue at Tahike's meeting spot after a robbery that almost wiped it out. Dave Bowman, KRQE, News 13. Deputies found the stolen merchandise when they went to the home of one of the suspects to question him about a car break-in.